Ten-year-old Sam Grayston is the third youngest bowler in America to bowl a perfect game of 300. I've been wanting to do it ever since I've bowled, and my dream has finally come true. Back in 2012, he made headlines across the nation. Now, in Laguna Hills, California, Sam is a rising senior, and it's a different sport that captivates him. Just the instant gratification of being able to hit a ball, seeing how far it'll go, and just being able to have so much power in my hands. Since childhood, Sam has spent thousands of hours doing drills, helped out by his firefighter father, who spent two seasons in the minor leagues. Well, I say that natural ability is going to get you only so far. If you want to be a good baseball player, whatever your dreams are, you have to put the work in. If I want to make a career out of something, it's going to be this. I just want to play baseball for as long as I can play baseball. Everyone knows that Sam wants to play baseball in college. What doesn't get talked about much is everything he's endured to get here. A saga of survival that began 17 years ago, on the day Sam was born. This whole cystic fibrosis thing was just like getting hit with a two by four. We had never even heard of it before. His small intestine, a portion of it had died. They had to open him up, take out 40% of his small intestine, and he had his bowel on the outside with a little bag. It's kind of humbling. As a firefighter, folks dial 911 on their worst day, and we come to help. And yet I can't help my own son who's laying in a hospital bed. Cystic fibrosis had wreaked havoc with Sam's digestive tract. He would spend his first two and a half months fighting for his life in a NICU. We couldn't even hold him. And he was hooked up to all kinds of tubes and respirators. It was like, oh my God, is this the end? What is happening? How will the baby come back from this? See him laying there in that crib, helpless, knowing that we were helpless. It's hard. But if he was willing to fight, we're going to fight just as hard. At last, they brought Sam home. But even with his parents and a host of medical personnel caring for him, Sam was in excruciating pain. Thinking back on it now, it just makes me sick. He was always crying. And at one point, I just lost it. And I told everybody, you have to get out. And we've just always treated him as a normal kid from then on. What kind of number was next to life expectancy in 2001? Anywhere from teenage to early 30s. But they would always give us hope and tell us this is the best time to be born with something like this. I'm going to play baseball. Well, what? I'm going to play baseball. Surgery patched up his intestines. Yes! <laughs> Daily sessions with this vest break up the mucus that clogs his lungs. Yet life with CF means that Sam struggles to put on weight, the weight he needs to keep him strong at the plate and on the mound. To help get his skills to the next level, Sam has a wish to get on the field with all-star Nolan Arenado and the Colorado Rockies. But after one of Sam's games, he isn't expecting this. This entire camera crew, I've lied to you guys. Sam, go ahead and come on up here. What's going on? Sam, you've been a fantastic teammate. Hopefully this video will kind of explain uh, the real reason as to why everyone's here tonight. Hey Sam, what's going on, man? Just wanted to say, bro, if you can come out to Denver, hang out with us, hang out with the team, get some work in and play some catch, I don't know, man, maybe hit some BP. So, excited for you to come out. Your wishes are granted. You're going to be flying out to Colorado to hang out with Nolan and the, the rest of the Rocky players. All right, congratulations. <laughs> give me a hug, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh my God. I was played. <laughs> Days later, Sam and his family are in Denver and taken by limo to Coors Field, where Sam gets a warm greeting from Nolan Arenado. What's going on, man? Oh my God. How are you? How's it, <laughs> How's it going? It's awesome. You going good? <laughs> Want to go in? Play ball? Check it out? Let's do it. I'll go check it out. We got our new weight room over here. Inside, Sam's introduced to the Rocky Center fielder. That's Charlie you? Blackman yeah, stretching you. on the ground. <laughs> How are you? You like his beard? Yeah, yeah, I love beard, his beard. Huh? Yeah, he loves your beard, he said. He's the only one. Chris. Very nice to meet you. There's a jersey with Sam's name on. Put it on, man. Go ahead. See how it fits. 
<laughs> the finish drive, sweet. He's part of the team now. Dude, it looks good, dude. Looks sweet. Thanks, dude. We've got the cages right here, which is awesome. All the guys, some of the guys are working. Those are sweet. Here's Bud. In his office, Rockies manager Bud Black has questions for Sam. Now you're a ball player? Yes. Okay. What do you tell me about yourself? Uh, lefty, first base, pitcher. Like to play, like to play shortstop, but a little limited. We need to, we need to shift the diamond so you can play shortstop. Exactly. Right. Are you going to come out on the field with us and hang out? I and hope do so. some stuff in the cage. I hope so. <laughs> All right, brother. That is dope. Sam takes the field at Coors as he meets fellow left-hander Jake yeah. McGee. You left handed too? Yeah. Nice. It's off to the bullpen where Sam gets tips from Rocky's pitching guru, Mark Wiley. Keep your body the same as it was. Okay. Separate over the rope. Now we're talking, yeah. Later, Sam gets the chance to practice his throws with pitcher Chad Bettis. See that change up. Hey, that's pretty nice. Now, Nolan's ready to make sure Sam gets some BP, while second baseman Ryan McMahon has some pointers. You got a good swing to hit, and then you just kind of finish like that. You hit it, like keep going, and then like pull it up. Okay. When Sam hits one deep to right, Nolan and his teammates are impressed. <sighs> it's the climax to a spectacular wish for Sam, complete with an autographed bat, great seats to the game, and after all he's battled through, the chance to feel like a major league ball player. This is amazing. This is something I would have never dreamed would have been able to happen. To be able to see what I've been able to accomplish through all this, even with what I have, it's pretty much a miracle.